Good evening and welcome to First Word on June the 25th, 2020. We're glad that you're here to share with us this evening. Mark Twain encountered a ruthless businessman in Boston and the businessman made the boast that before he died he wanted to travel to the Holy Land and he wanted to climb Mount Sinai. And there he was going to read the Ten Commandments at the top of his voice. Mark Twain listened, unimpressed, and replied, I have a better idea. Why don't you stay in Boston and keep the commandments? I would suggest to you that Mark Twain, who was not known for being a devout believer, but perhaps a sincere one, was absolutely right. We're sometimes better at boasting about what we want to do than we are in keeping the commandments of God. We're more about talk and less about keeping. I go back to the story of Joshua as he was giving his final instructions to the children of Israel, and he said this, Now therefore fear the Lord and serve Him in sincerity and truth, and put away the gods your father served beyond the river and in Egypt, and serve the Lord. And if, it, and if it is disagreeable in your sight to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves today whom you will serve, whether the gods your father served which are beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorite in whose lands you are living. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And he was correct. That is our choice. We can say, God, I'm not only a believer who has an intellectual assent to all that you say, I am a believer who have so placed you in my heart that I'm going to serve, I'm going to practice, I'm going to be faithful to your word, and I will do what you say. And if others make a different choice, I will make the choice, always the choice, to serve God first. It was a bold statement that Joshua made. I believe he was absolutely sincere. I believe he had already demonstrated in his life that he had been practicing that belief for a long time. I want to challenge you and encourage you. No matter what decisions others make, or what belief they seem to hold, or what they say when what they say sometimes differs from what they do, do not be discouraged, challenged, or changed. As for me and my house, as Joshua said, we will serve. Let that also be our commitment. Thank you for sharing with us, and let us pray. God, we thank you that you listen to us, and I pray that we will be faithful followers and we will serve you, not only believe in words, but we will serve you with all of our hearts. And let that be our hope for ourselves and for those that we seek to influence for the kingdom of God. We thank you in the wonderful name of Christ our Savior. Amen. We hope you have a blessed evening and a blessed day tomorrow. And until this time tomorrow evening, good day.